Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is an HP Chromebook 11. And if you followed one of my uh, earlier videos, you'll know that this one is now in developer mode, which means that you can get a uh, shell up and running, and theoretically you can erase the operating system, install other operating systems, do all sorts of things that uh, uh, you couldn't do if you weren't in developer mode. And one of those is actually download a tool called uh, Crouton, which makes it relatively easy not to completely wipe out everything on your hard drive, but to actually use the, the basic Linux kernel that's already installed on here and run a installation of Ubuntu side by side with Chrome OS. And when I say side by side, then you can, uh, you can even switch in real time between the two operating systems. They're both running at the same time. It's not even a dual boot kind of situation. So in order to do that, all you really need to do is download the Crouton script and then open up a terminal shell, which you can do by hitting Control alt t that opens uh, this window, and then you type shell. And I've already done that here, so let's go back Oops. to this window, and you type in she hyphen e tilde uh, backslash downloads backslash crouton, or is that slash? I always get my slashes, so I think that's just a regular slash. Um, anyways, the instructions are all available at the crouton website, and you can find more details at lilliputing.com. This should give us a list of available commands. It doesn't seem to be working. Let's make sure I've got it correctly here. So let's just go ahead and copy and paste that in. Okay, so now we've got a list of available commands. And basically to install Crouton, you're going to need to uh, do your targets and uh, a couple of other things. So since what we want is a version with a graphical user interface, we're just going to scroll down here to the uh, section where it tells us that we can install Ubuntu long-term service with F XFCE, which is a lightweight desktop environment. And uh, we can even just go ahead, copy, paste, and this should go ahead and start the uh, the process. Now. It's going to take a while to download the whole thing and then to uh, unpack it. So let's go ahead and let this run, and we'll be back with uh, more information in a few moments. Okay, once the whole thing is finished, you should be able to... Let me brighten the screen here a little bit. You should be able to start your Ubuntu Linux environment by typing start xfce... Actually sudo sudo start xfce4 and that should open up a Linux environment. So here we have the xfce desktop environment. Uh, once you're in here you can access web browser. Uh, it comes preloaded with the NetSurf browser which is a pretty simple one. Uh, I think I might want to go ahead and uh, install a different browser because you can see not everything looks quite right here. Um, and some other applications it has an image viewer, uh, CD burner, which is an interesting choice, calendar, dictionary, not a lot of applications, but uh, you should be able to install third party apps um, using apt-get or other uh, uh, tools. There are some things that I've noticed don't work out of the box, and that's probably just because Crouton hasn't really been updated to take advantage of the hardware on this particular device. So while we are able to access a uh, terminal window and a uh, web browser and other basic apps, um, the screen brightness keys don't work here. Volume doesn't seem to work properly. I'm not really sure why, I just got to sort of click there. So not every key is going to be uh, uh, working right out of the box here. Now you can exit this by just logging out and it'll take you right back to uh, Chrome OS or you can type Control shift alt and use the forward and back buttons on the keyboard. So Control shift alt forward, Control shift alt back and you can see that these are both running side by side at the same time. So we've got a sort of full desktop environment here with access to Uh, file browser, terminal window, all sorts of other things that uh, some of which are actually working right now and some of which are not, and um, mail settings. It's basically a, a full Ubuntu uh, kind of environment. 
or we can go back to the uh, Chrome OS view. So this laptop has a 1366 by 768 pixel display. It has a um, bunch of windows that are open right now. It has a Samsung Exynos 5250 processor. It's an ARM-based processor. Um, not every Linux app is necessarily going to be working out of the box with that processor, but a lot of applications should work. So from here, you should be able to install uh, audio and video editing software, uh, other web browsers, uh, all sorts of other applications if you wanted to use this as a sort of traditional laptop style computer uh, you can do that now uh, by using Ubuntu. Now keep in mind there's no expandable storage so you've only got 16 gigs of storage on here it's um, not a lot of space to share between Ubuntu and Chrome OS and there's no uh, there's no micro SD card slots so you can't just plug in uh, an extra card if you wanted more storage space. So, the, you know, there are going to be some limitations to running Ubuntu on this, but it's uh, pretty nifty to know that you can. So, this is Brad Linder with a quick look at flipping back and forth between uh, two operating systems running on the same kernel on the same machine. Um, and you can find more details at lilliputing.com. Hey, it's me again. I know I sort of did a conclusion at the end of the, uh, just a minute ago, but I um, got a little bit frustrated by the fact that I didn't have, see a lot of applications here. So I went ahead and typed in sudo apt get install synaptic. And what that did is it ran a little application here and brought up the synaptic package manager, um, which makes it easier to install other applications. Just to show you how that works, I'm going to go ahead and do it again. This time I'm going to install GIMP, which is an image editing application. So it's going to tell me that it takes 36.8 megabytes. Do I want to do that? Yes. And so it's going to go ahead and download and install GIMP. And when that's done, I should have an image editing application on here. Uh, so it's going to take a few minutes to install all the prerequisites, uh, download everything from the internet, and install the application. So if you know the name of your, the package you're looking for, you don't even need the Synaptic Package Manager. You can just type sudo apt hyphen get install the name of the package and go through things that way but the package manager makes it a little bit easier. It's sort of like a, an app store if you're uh, not real familiar with Linux. And I'll show you that as soon as we're done here. Probably could have picked a smaller application to demonstrate. Okay, now I can either launch, launch that by typing GIMP and hitting enter, or now I can go into graphics in the application menu and it should load it. So we can even close the terminal window at this point. And here we go, we've got GIMP up and running. Uh, I'm not sure I actually have any images to edit, but uh, it's pretty cool to see that it's there. So let's go ahead and close that and I'll show you the Synaptic Package Manager which is a system utility that makes it easy to install applications. You need to enter a password to get in. And let's say I want to install Firefox. There it is. So let's go ahead and check the box next to it. Say mark for installation. Mark and apply. So again, it's going to reach out to the internet, download the appropriate files from the Ubuntu repository, and load them onto the computer. So uh, when this is all finished, we're going to have a Chromebook which is capable of running Firefox. And 
under the internet, now we've got Firefox. So there you have it. Control Shift forward, and we've got Google Chrome accessing the Lilliputian website. Control Shift forward again, and we've got Firefox accessing the Lilliputian website. Uh, you can install Office software, uh, media software, games, all sorts of things, and this sort of uh, turns a Chromebook into more of a fully functional uh, Windows laptop. Now, as I mentioned, if you want to do things like adjust the screen brightness, you might have to switch over to the Chrome view. but it's really not that inconvenient, especially considering the Chromebook 11 has uh, only been available for a few days. Uh, as the software is updated, it might be easier to, uh, to do more with it. Uh, it's currently running uh, software based on Ubuntu 12.04. Pretty soon, uh, we'll probably have the option to run newer versions of Ubuntu. In fact, I believe you can uh, tell it to download uh, newer versions of the software if you want to, but with Ubuntu uh, 12 point, uh, or 13.10 just around the corner, the next long-term service release, um, it might be nice to run that instead of the older version. Anyways, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing and a look at Firefox and Ubuntu running on the HP Chromebook 11.